Sherlock Holmes. I'm not interested in becoming an investigator. One of the things I love about the show is when you have a character as brilliant as Sherlock Holmes, as quirky as Sherlock Holmes, you can't bring him a standard mystery. I am not an average man. So I feel like we tell the kinds of stories you wouldn't necessarily see on a more standard procedural show. It's, it's one of the things we're most proud of and we have the most fun uh, putting together. I must say, Watson, I'm quite flattered. It's a lovely homage to my methodology. If you've not seen Elementary yet, it is a contemporized Sherlock Holmes story. It's Sherlock Holmes and Watson living in New York City in present day. Our Sherlock is a recovering addict. He's, he's someone who worked for quite some time with Scotland Yard in London, experienced a personal tragedy that caused him to spiral out of control and sort of disappear in a haze of drug use. This is all in the past. <laughs> been hired by your father to be your sober companion. In our first episode, he meets Watson. Our Watson is Joan Watson, played by Lucy Liu. I'm here to make the transition from your rehab experience to the routine of your everyday life as smooth as possible. So I will be living with you for the next six weeks, which means I'll be available to you 24 seven. Because Joan is quite good at her job, relapse is not an immediate threat. And so we have the opportunity to tell very complicated mysteries, the kinds of mysteries that merit Sherlock's attention and see him work his way through them and find the answers in the end. Oh, I take it we're out of clean bowls too. And forks and plates and cups. Where am I supposed to put my tea? We've also had a lot of opportunity for, for fun. We get to go home with Sherlock and, and Joan at the end of the day. It's one of the elements of the show that I think distinguishes us from, from a more standard procedural uh, type show. I was the only one who could make that connection. I hope we would never have to have this conversation. I don't want you feeling responsible for something that I have to do. You lied to me because you know what you're planning to do is wrong. If you were considering following me, I strongly advise against it. When I'm asked about our cast and the casting process in general, I mean, the word I find I use the most often is blessed. I was a tremendous fan of Johnny's work. I was a tremendous fan of Lucy's work. And to be able to zero in on two people that you greatly admire and respect and know would be perfect for your show and actually get them, that's rare. <laughs> that doesn't happen a lot. I feel the same way about Aidan Quinn, who plays Captain Gregson, and John Michael Hill, who plays Detective Bell. It's really been incredible. Moriarty is not a fan of Holmes um, and, and takes great pleasure in uh, disrupting his, his life. Moriarty is a real physical and psychological threat. When he presents himself, it's going to be a tremendous challenge for Holmes. I think Sherlock will see red for a while, and that's dangerous. That's a dangerous place for him to be. Your father told me he said you were a detective. I was a consultant. Our show, in, in, a, in a very, in a very real way, is a is a salute to the you know to the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The only promise a puzzle makes is an answer. Liking the answer doesn't factor in. We hope that people won't just sample our show, but go back, look at the books, look at the stories, look at the, the inspiration for what we try to do week in and week out. We hope our enthusiasm is infectious. Mm -hmm.